Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have a map of Donetsk, this monstrosity in front of us, and Stalinka schools. say it's cool so we have this big uh, solar panel we're gonna talk about that uh, plus the best mod uh, since uh, ever is also released I'm gonna present it today it's my favorite mod but we're gonna talk about it in due time um, this is just something that caught my eye this is just my personal opinion oh by the way I don't make mods zero of them so none of the mods uh, presented anywhere in my videos is not made by me because I don't do them anyway let's get cracking Small train distribution office bar Torstein 92. A small train distribution uh, su su uh, suitable for a rural industry or shop deliveries in the villages. Uh, despite size, it can assemble 100 meter train. Okay, that's nice. Has three wagon storages area, uh, two visible, uh, 40 meter length, uh, 24 meter length. Yeah, there. All the details, known issues there also as well. You're gonna need to go and check it out in link in the description. Uh, this is something that was already. I think it was. Um, just a depot similar to this building i believe i still have it uh hopefully uh, i recognize the building and i used it a lot but we have two rail depots let's see if we can put uh can we put anything here no we can't and what about this one this is rail depot small rail depot can we get some trucks here oh sorry uh let's see a couple of these and then a couple of cargo wagons just to see how it looks like from the outside that's it. That's everything that we can. Only five wagons and a locomotive. How it looks like? Looks dashing. Looks like really beautiful. Really nice small uh, distribution office for small rail industries and so on. Uh, how does it compare to vanilla? I think that would be... That's gonna be dodgy to check. Because, because, because... Uh, this is the one small rail depot, 10,000, compared to vanilla 26 and 52. Uh, and then we have a railroad distribution office, I believe. We have it here. So distribution office is uh, 84,000 for railroads, and this one is 10,200. It's smaller. I believe it's not cheaty. I believe it's quite nice, and uh, you should use it uh, if you feel like it. Link in the description of the video. Next up, Abelian Hike and Stalinka University. A fictional Stalinka University in Armenian style. Some school and universities in Armenia are built with this design. Uh, really nice to see that uh, Abelian Hike is doing uh, imaginary work as well, based on the architecture of the time and that's really really nice you know it's endless uh, uh, source of uh, inspiration this is perfectly square I think it's gonna fit nicely in any town especially if you're building like older style like Stalinka uh, style buildings uh, again uh, immaculate uh, quality uh, you can see a lot of a lot of details on the roofing also the walls are absolutely beautiful I think I, I have I have nothing bad to say <laughs> absolutely great um, uh, what about the price wise so if we go for the uh, Central Institute uh, we're gonna go and check out the price uh, by the way the map that we're doing is populated so it's popping some messages so ignore that we're gonna get to that later Stalinka University uh, would that be here? Science Academy? No, nope. close enough. Here we go. Central Institute, 74,000. It's like third of the price of vanilla one, but of course it's smaller in size. I'm a big supporter of smaller universities, so big thumbs up in my book. Gonzal DD and Photovoltaic Solar Power Plant, the monstrosity. Uh, we have this huge uh, uh, photovoltaic solar power plant. Workers needed 15, professors needed f 5. Maximum electricity output 570 megawatts, heating disabled. Loading and unloading area 2, high voltage connection 6, ground works. And you have description of uh, how long it takes for this to be, um, to be constructed. I'm gonna skip those details and you have, I believe, uh description in spanish as well uh right no this is absolute monstrosity and leaky is not a big fan of solar power but in this game we have options to do to have something like that and it's absolutely huge it's absolutely expensive as well uh we're gonna cover that in a second and it can give you as mentioned uh to 750 megawatts which is around 12.5 megawatt um, uh, megawatt hours i believe no megawatts i mean it's 750 megawatt hours um right so this is the this is the power plant and then uh, let's compare it to the vanilla ones. So we have solar power plant here, 280,000, 285,000. 
It's actually the same price, so that's surprising. I think uh, definitely it's not a cheaty mod because it's size, because enormous size that you have to have to in order to place it. It's much, 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 much bigger than vanilla. I would say like three to four times bigger. So definitely not a cheaty if the price is the same. And the, I, I had a problems <laughs> leveling the area here, if you can see. If I press F2, you can see how much area I needed to level to actually place this monstrosity here. Anyway, realistic link in the description of the video. Props 074 and train depots, small and big railroad depots based on a real building in Łódź and Gdynia, Poland. Uh, right, so I, I think I mastered the pronunciation of Polish um, uh, city names, <coughs> but we'll, we'll uh, talk about it some other time. So, train depot, small and big one, of course they come with skins as well, so you can see here how it looks like. Classic Robs, brown, reddish. Uh, brick. This looks like a panels or, or steel panels, steel sheets or something. Uh, different types of different types of material on the outside, and also we have the bigger one over here, as you can see. It also comes with the skins. Okay, uh, let's check the price and compare it to vanilla. So if we go for the depots, uh, we gonna go and check a long train depot. I believe that would be this one. Uh, that's the one over here, long train depot, and we have a small one as well, 24,000 and 53,000. So compared to vanilla, it's definitely, uh, definitely realistic. Price is almost the same, and uh, of course, quality is way way better. Link in the description of the video. Now we're gonna sit on this beautiful beach of this map that we're gonna cover later, and we're gonna talk about mod called English Translation Fixes Coconut Be Gone by Lex713. This is a small mod that fixes various minor problems with newest update credits of English version. What it does is fixes titles, few typos, a couple of names and last name typo, typos, or at least one, uh, adding one forgotten name to the internal testers list, adding one more mention to the challenge uh, just creators, and gets rid of the name that doesn't deserve to be there, here, here. Uh, the person in question is the one who followed the cockroach game mode too literally, and then uh, there's descriptions about the installation, how you can install it. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually um, uh, putting mods like this. I did test a couple of them, uh, but I never put them in here because because you have to uh, change the root game files uh, for this and sometimes it can cause some problems but for thick skinned uh, people like myself I, I don't mind doing that so if you want to follow this on your own <laughs> peril or on your own choice you yeah, just go and do it but uh, there's a link in the description regarding this uh, mod is free uh, it doesn't cost anything so it's quite realistic and fixes injustice created uh, by the developers and of course uh, makes the game so much better and it's the right thing to do. Anyway, uh, if you know, don't know what I'm talking about, chase me up in the comment section, we can discuss it uh, or on Discord. For more details, you have a link in the description of the video. Department store Megazum by Rob074, department store based on a real building in uh, Czestochowa, Poland. Czestochowa. Uh, Poland uh, employs 35 workers and serves about 315 customers, of course, depends on the pro productivity. Now, this is a big one, it's a big one. Uh, of course, it's a shopping center, it has several entrances for people, uh, and um, has a quite large capacity-ish, um, comparable. I think uh, that there are bigger shops you can find here, especially... Um, if you search through the mod section, but uh, I think this is one of the bigger ones and I'm gonna be using this one uh, myself because I'm a big fan of Robses and uh, the, he makes high quality models, mods. Uh, as you can see here, this is a, another one, a really high quality model. Uh, of course, comes with skins and everything else is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so how does it compare to vanilla shops? Uh, if we go over here, and if I can only find uh, shopping centers, this one is 92,000. I'm just gonna see if I can find it. Is that this one? There we go. Uh, 44,000 and this one is 92. It's a little bit cheaper, I have to say. I don't know about the numbers. Let me see if that's comparable to this one. No, it's smaller than this one. Uh, so this one has 405 capa uh, people capacity, while the, this one, small vanilla, has a much, much lower. No, I, no, no reason to think that this is like absolutely perfect perfection and a uh, really beautiful beautiful shop and i would say that this is realistic and for more details you have a link in the description of the video mr Novo one small small oil pump a small oil
oil pumping station with two inputs and two outputs operates at a half a speed of vanilla pump. Now this is something that uh, everybody needs. Uh, this is a small pump that uh, doesn't take a lot of space because vanilla pumps take enormous amount of space. If you compare it, for example, with a shop, uh, are we going to compare it to vanilla one as well? Uh, you don't have a lot of options. Of course, you can always justify this by saying that, you know, oil industries require a lot of space and that's true as well. But sometimes you just need, you know, a couple of, you know, petrol station or a small factory that requires small storage next to it or a power plant or a heating plant. And this is your savior. This is your... Uh, this is what you need. Uh, this is what I need. So this it has two inputs, two outputs. I believe one of them is uh, underground, the other one is overground. So you can connect to which one you want. F3. Okay, I can't really see with these, but you can see small, small pump uh, that operates also on realistic speeds. What about the price I hear you say? So let's check it. Small pumping station, 1,200 for a small pumping station. I think it's realistic. It's something that you just need in your factory. Anyway, for more details, you have a link in the description of the video. Mr. Nakfir and Donetsk Oblast or Donetsk region. Uh, Donetsk region with places of the Sea of Azov and the Dnieper River. The map has several cities and main transport network. Scale 1 to 20. Absolutely beautiful. This is the uh, today's uh, the, 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 trouble, troublesome area, but um, nevertheless really beautiful. Uh, it's Donetsk, Donetsk region, one of the richest places in let's say eastern europe if not wider than dart a lot of um, uh, uh, minerals and coal and iron and everything else can be found on the ground of donetsk region also known as donbass donetsk basin um absolutely beautiful we're gonna talk about this um this is slavyansk and we have here the kramatorsk we have cities like the Donetsk over here. Uh, it's kind of, of course, it's not a perfect representation of the city, but it has everything that historical city needs. You need to subscribe to four different mods, I believe, in order to have all these buildings in the city. Uh, this is Makievka. Uh, okay, and then we have Ogledar. Okay, that's also famous for all the wrong reasons. And then we have uh, Berdyansk. Any more cities that we can recognize here? No, we have uh, Zaporozhye and uh, Zaporozhye and uh, anything else. No, that's about it. Okay, uh, so since it's so rich, what do I know? What do I know? Let's see and check out the map. So if you can see here, we have coastal cities. So if I forgot, sorry, my geography is not. This is. Berdyansk and Mariupol are the two cities here on the Azov Sea coast. Uh, to the west we have Soviet border crossing, to the east is NATO, which is <laughs> surprising, but hey-ho. Uh, this is the mouth of the river Don, I believe. Uh, yeah, so this is river Don where it goes into the Sea of Azov, and you can see the basic network that it has. Okay, okay, let's stop talking now. Resources. Resources would be a lot of coal, as it is really, really rich in coal. Iron as well. Oil as well, uranium, <laughs> plentiful, and bauxite, of course. You have everything that you need for starting your industry, so it's not that difficult, but... I have to tell you, if you press F2, uh, the terrain can be a little bit difficult in places. You're going to have a little bit of challenge uh, placing industries. But let's face it, this area is rich by itself with natural resources and natural beauty. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy this map. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring, and comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, we have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.